Hi dear children, welcome back to your chemistry class. We have started the lesson 7, the world of carbon. In the previous class, we discussed about some of the basic facts related to carbon, right? We know that carbon is the element seen in nature both in free state and combined state. The element carbon forms numerous compounds in nature due to some specific properties. Dear children, do you know carbon is said to be an element of life? Because the element carbon is present in all non-living forms. Well, have you done this textual worksheet? Hope you complete it. But here the answer is. You can check your answer with this one. Alright, today we are going to discuss about the different forms of carbon, their characteristics and uses. Shall we start today's class? Well, allotropes. Allotropes are the different forms of the same element having different physical properties but with the same chemical properties are known as allotropes. And this phenomenon is called allotropy. Let me define you in a simple way. Allotrope refers to one or more forms of an element with the same chemical properties but differ in their physical properties. For example, carbon. The element carbon exists in nature in different forms. The allotropes of carbon are classified into two types, crystalline and amorphous allotropes of carbon. Diamond, graphite, fullerene, graphene, etc. are the crystalline allotropes of carbon. On the other hand, coke, coal, charcoal, bone charcoal, etc. are the non-crystalline allotropes of carbon. Alright, now let us learn about the crystalline allotrope diamond first. Diamond is the hardest allotrope of carbon. Look at the following characteristics given in your textbook. Shall we analyze the point one by one? Number one. Diamond is very hard. If you analyze the structure of diamond, you can see that each carbon atom in diamond is linked by covalent bond with four other carbon atoms surrounding it. This strong bonding is responsible for the hardness of diamond. So did you understand why diamond is very hard? It's because of the carbon-carbon bond between them. Because of its hardness, the diamond is used for cutting glasses. See how glass is cut by using a diamond? Is this clear for you? Let's move to the next characteristics. Transparent nature. The transparency in diamond allows the light to transfer through its crystal structure and makes it more lustrous. Next point is, diamond is not a conductor of electricity. As I told you in the beginning, each carbon atom in the diamond is covalently bonded with other four carbon atoms. As a result, there is no free electron in this crystal structure. This makes diamond a poor conductor of electricity. Let's move to the fourth point. Thermal conductivity. Dear children, do you know diamond is highly crystalline in structure than other metals? This crystalline structure makes it possible to possess a high thermal conductivity. Next is refractive index. The light entering the crystal structure of diamond is totally internally reflected many times. Hence, it possesses a very high refractive index. As the light passes through the crystal structure, it gets separated into its component colors due to total internal reflection. This makes diamond more attractive. That is why diamond is used to make ornaments. 
Now let's consolidate all the characteristics once again. Diamond is very hard in nature. It is highly transparent. It is not a conductor of electricity. It possesses high thermal conductivity and high refractive index. Alright students, so this is the time to end today's class. What all things we learned today? Today we discussed about allotropes of carbon and the characteristic features and uses of diamond. Hope you understood the structure, characteristics and uses. Let's meet you in the next class with another allotrope of carbon. Study well. Thank you for watching this video.